there folks, Caleb Downing with SDI, and today I want to talk to you about this little feller right here. Let's get into it. All right, so what is this? Uh, this is basically a 22 conversion made by CMMG. In, in essence, it allows you to use any standard AR-15 upper, take the bulk hair group out, insert this system, use the supplied magazines, and you basically have converted your 5.56223 AR into a 22. Sounds kind of crazy, but it actually works. It actually works. Um, back in the day, a while long ago, um, I got a seven and a half inch AR, right? A fire breathing dragon. I thought it'd be cool. I actually used it in law enforcement work, believe it or not. Um, but just when you shoot that thing, it's just literally a fire breathing dragon. It's obnoxious. It's just concussive. It's not very good, especially if you don't have a suppressor. It's just, it's just a mess, right? And so I quickly kind of left this build alone. It went on to other things, 10 and a half, 11 and a half, 12, 14, all that stuff. And this guy, this guy just kind of sat there and collected dust until finally I came across this thing. I didn't know it would work as well as it did, but I gave it a shot. It's not expensive, um, but I was like, if this actually works and allows me to shoot 22, a seven and a half inch 22, that's not bad. That's, that's perfectly fine. I mean, that's a little bit longer than your standard pistol length as far as a 22 pistol goes, um, but I would get to use my upper that's just sitting there collecting dust. So I went ahead and got it. It does come with a couple magazines, depending on what state you're, you're in and the laws that you might have. They'll have different round capacities and stuff. Uh, but these are basic, basic magazines. There's nothing special about them. There's no follower assist or, or loading assist. Us usually on a 22 magazine, you'll have a button that you could pull down that assists you in loading. It'd be nice if it had that, but it would also that also allows dirt and, in this case, snow and stuff to get into the magazine. This is pretty well sealed off. So to load these, you basically load it like you would any rifle magazine, where you place the cartridge in and you slide it back. It's not like a pistol magazine where you stack on top of each other uh, because 22s are rimmed, right? And you'll, if, you, if you stack those rims on the back of the cartridge, on the back of the 22, if you stack them in properly, you'll get what's called rim lock and you'll have a problem. These, I guess it's just the way that you have to load them. I have never had a problem with rim lock. They have pretty much always just functioned perfectly fine for me so the magazines have worked the carrier system has worked um, and I've been very very happy with it a couple little notes on the carrier here it looks like there's a cartridge sticking out here on the front like a piece of brass this is an insert that goes into the chamber on your on your upper right and it, it basically fills in that chamber area and the inside here is basically a a smooth bore 22 caliber bore basically right so as you can see from here this portion here this is your feed ramp right and this portion here looks very much like a 22 this is the whole range of motion right this thing is completely self-contained right so you don't have to have any kind of special buffer system back here you can leave your buffer and buffer spring in the buffer tube you don't have to worry about it at all. It, it's, it's not gonna affect anything. So let's go ahead and put this thing together and I'll kind of shoot it and kind of show you how it works after we've talked about how it worked, right? You have your standard, in this case, a ambi charging handle. Kind of pull that back out a little bit. Actually, you don't even have to in this situation. You basically just take your, your insert, slide it all the way in, see how it's flush across the back? You don't have to. Usually, you have to have your charging handle back a little bit. You don't need to do that. I forgot about that. Flush across the back, that's how this guy goes in. And then basically you just clip it, or pop the pins, and now you have a cycling, or a functioning 22. This thing only pulls back about halfway, so if you think that that's not far enough, that's plenty far enough, that's as far back as it goes. There is no standard um, bolt stop bolt release. It just, it doesn't have that range of motion in there, so that that's not gonna work. But what I will tell you is that orange follower on the magazine, that will work as a bolt hold open. So you'll know whenever you get that click no bang and you look in there and you see that orange follower, you'll know that you're out of ammo. Thing is, once you drop the magazine, it's gonna drop the bolt because it's not locking it back, it's just holding it back with that follower. Let's go ahead and shoot this thing. Uh, we got some 22 here and dead air mask on here, so it should be nice and quiet. And uh, let's just shoot some stuff.
There's the bolt bolt stop, grab your magazine, grab your new one. All right, guys, so there you go. I find this whole thing very, very fun. For, for, for your kids, right, honestly, for your kids, this would be a very fun gun to shoot. There, with the weight, this has the full weight of an AR-15, right? I mean, this guy's obviously smaller, but if you put this system in your full-size 16-inch, even a 20-inch AR, like an M16-looking gun, right, like a retro build, the weight of that thing, the gun's not gonna move, even in this system. The, the gun does not recoil. There's like no perceivable recoil. So for people that are gun shy, right, especially with the suppressor, you can shoot this thing and have fun, safely have fun, and it's not gonna be bouncing around on people. You're not gonna get, I mean, to take the timidness out of a new shooter, this is the way to go, I think. I think it's awesome, I think it's fun. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think about it? Do you think that these kind of things are gimmicky or do you see an actual application to it? Even rabbit hunting. This thing can put in some work, I'm telling you. All right, that's it. You guys be good, you be safe. I appreciate you guys. Cable Downing with SDI. Hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.